Hey. Hey, y'all. It's Raymond. Uh, dandelions. Going to talk about the dandelion plant for a minute here. Hey, Patty. How you doing? I'm uh, working with this dandelion tincture tonight. Um, I wanted to share a few things about the dandelion plant this evening. Hey, Emil. Hey, Albert. Hey, Betty Jane. Um, I wanted to tell y'all, I most, uh, I think the most significant thing I learned about a dandelion plant recently was it's not native to North America, that our ancestors brought it over here from Europe, and for a good reason. It is a really good plant to know about, and um, I made a tincture, and I take it with me on my bike rides, and it gives me like like instant energy um let's see it's a member of the asteraceae or the sunflower family in the um the name dandelion comes from the french words dent de lion which means lion's tooth and that is uh referring to the shape of the leaf so I'm going to strain this tincture here. Hey, Patty. Haven't seen you forever. I hope you're doing well. How you doing, Richard? So I have this uh, pint mason jar here. Patty, you should see the video I made earlier on the uh, pokeweed. It's significant. Uh, I think you would enjoy it. But anyways... I picked some flowers. Oh. Emil got cut off when I was saying what dandelion means. The name comes from French. French words dent de lion, which means the to lion's tooth. It refers to the shape of the leaf. So, um... I'm going to strain this off. I picked a bunch of flowers, put them in this jar, just like the other tinctures I make. I use 100 proof vodka, plastic lid, so the vodka doesn't rust the metal lid. And it's been in here for a couple months now. And it's been ready to strain for a while. So, real simple process. I would try to get this laptop aimed over here on my desk, my little work. I just strain it through here. Hang on a second. I got to try to find my funnel. I'm going to start this. Let this run off and I'll try to share what I know about the dandelion plant here. Because <clears throat> I like to let it sit for a minute and let gravity pull the tincture off of there. So, okay, let me turn this back around. Hey, Kenzie. Talking about the dandelion plant, and um, I've been eating it raw. I, have, I move it to my garden to where the soil's looser so the roots can get bigger. But um, it has medicinal value, and I've got some notes here that I'm going to share, read from. It's a liver cleanser. The stems ooze a caustic white latex milk that has been used to treat warts. All parts of the dandelion have a bitter bite, and that's known to be, a, if it's bitter, it's cleansing for your liver in particular. Uh, blood purifying properties that work in the digestive system to increase the flow of urine. So it's a diuretic, but it contains vast amounts of potassium that restore the mineral balance um, in the kidneys as toxins are flushed out. 
The high amounts of vitamins, calcium, potassium, and other trace minerals in the dandelion's root balance the diuretic effects herbalists utilize when controlling a patient's blood pressure. Healers also count on dandelion's highly volatile and bitter constituents in the root to isolate toxins in the body and flush them from the system. It's ironic that the poisons gardeners use to eradicate dandelion are the same toxin this plant offers to weed from our bodies. And so on that note, you know, it's real popular in America to have a lawn that looks good, as they say, and uh, they spray it with a usually a highly carcinogenic chemical anyways best to just leave them there and make yourself a salad <laughs> get your vitamins and minerals you know um that's what i do but you know that doesn't taste that great but if you put it in a stew you can alter the flavor to something you like but my thing is i'm making these tinctures because i can take them on my bike ride i used to make tea and bring that on the bike rides with me and um I figured out if I just make a tincture, then it's like one uh, milliliter dropper full of tincture is equal to a cup of tea. And so it makes it so it travels well and also it keeps, you know. So let me read from my notes here. And um, I'm going to get this on record and then share it with my new collection of videos I'm logging my um i'm building an apothecary here and i got about seven plants i'm working with so far to start and about a hundred more that i hope to work with um the dandelion is in most liver tonics due to its oils the bitter resins that stimulate the digestive system the fiber in the whole plant is described is viscous because of its astonishing ability to absorb and transport toxins from the bowels out of the body, balance intestinal flora, and soothe the digestive tract in the process. People have used this latex from dandelion stems to burn off warts. The essential oils within this common weed are documented as having both bacteriostatic and fungi-static properties, to name a few. The intensities of these components means patients using prescription antibiotics would be wise to avoid dandelion until they have finished their treatment. Okay, Con conditions said to be helped by this plant. Detoxification is the word most people think of. If they are familiar with the dandelion's herbal applications, there are a few detox formulas on the market that don't make use of this plant's toxin elimination abilities. Dandelion is my best friend when recovering from illness, revives me from flus and colds after they have taken their toll. People with liver conditions um skin conditions changes in hormones such as menopause or adolescence and arthritis including gout can benefit greatly from the use of the dandelion plant it's also useful for high blood pressure high cholesterol and unstable blood sugar levels this plant is full of bitter constituents are not only excellent for stimulating the digestive system, but offer anti-inflammatory benefits. Dandelion is also helpful as a lactation stimulator. So there's my notes on the dandelion plant. Yes, dandelions. So um, here's my tincture. I made one pint, and uh, I simply strained it off. 
I'm going to squeeze everything I can out of it. Here's the flowers I picked. I went ahead and put the whole flower bud in there. I didn't just pick off the yellow parts. I picked the flower tops, put the whole top in there. And every day I woke up and I went over and shook the jar gently for about maybe a hundred times in each hand. I did that when I woke up every day and I did that before I went to sleep with uh, my new set of tinctures that I'm straining this week. So now I'm going to take this plant matter here and burn it and to save the uh, salts which I'll reconstitute and slowly feed it back into the salts drop by drop so there it is um try to get you a clear look at this it's strong it's full of the oils and the essence of the plant it's a good tincture and uh that's about it so you're welcome Kimberly, I hope it, uh, you can benefit from this. I hope everyone can uh, learn about the beneficial. Yeah, it is. It's liquid gold, and it's free. Just be careful you don't pick them from some place that might have been sprayed with that uh, chemical, you know. Hopefully you have a I, – I move them to my garden. It's like they grow wild, but – I put them in the garden and the roots get bigger there. The amazing thing about this plant in my experience is that um, if I pick a bunch of leaves, put them in salad or whatever, they grow back like overnight and they grow back larger, you know, and that's amazing. Or if you cut your lawn, they're back the next day and that's just an amazing life force. That's the kind of stuff I want to eat, you know. Something that's alive, something that has that life force. Yes, the tea. That's just, that's like, you know, extracting the um, medicine into the water. You know, it's pulling the spirit of the plant and the consciousness of the plant into the water and then drink it. I make the tea, I make a half a gallon at a time. I just get a pot of water boiling and throw them in there and turn it off and let it sit for like four or five hours and I'll have a half a gallon of the tea. You know, you can't drink too much of it. There are no known sign of side effects from this plant. So I hope you all are having a good time. It's nighttime here. You're having some right now. That's awesome. That's incredible. Thank you for watching, Kimberly. I love you all. And I hope you have a good night or daytime, where whatever time it is you're watching this video where you're at. And uh, stay safe. Be mindful of your health. The body's a temple. Put some live food in there. And be well. Love each other. Love yourself. And share that with your neighbors. Ciao. Thank you, Kimberly.